What's up? I heard that there is airplane stuff going on here. So we're in configuration mode and we're going to scroll down and go under the engine and airframe button and then go under position seven. No, this is position three, cancel. Position seven, the flat position sensor. And we're going to add a new gauge marking. The marking that we're going to add initially is going to be an invisible range. And we want um, to trigger a logic signal if the flaps are down. So the flaps down range for me would be one through 22. So I'm putting in the minimum and maximum there. And for mode, we're going to say we want to set logic signal. We're going to set signal number nine. Now we don't always want to set this uh, logic signal. We only want to set this if we're at or above a certain airspeed. VFE is 83 in the RV12. So these extra criteria are set elsewhere. So we're going to save this, go to the settings tab, logic signals, there it is, yep. And then hit number nine. And then this is where you uh, configure those extra criteria. So we want the minimum airspeed threshold to be 83. So we have to have the flaps down and the minimum, the, the airspeed has to be 83 or higher. And if those conditions are met, then logic signal number nine gets set. Now, once that signal is set, we want to do something with that. So we want our flaps uh, indicator to turn red. And we also want to generate a red warning cast message. So we're going to select a new gauge marking, red range plus alert. We want to change the range one to 22 red if logic signal number nine has been set. Now, if you wanted to just create a, a white message, a white cast message, uh, an info message, then you can use invisible range plus alert. But because we want it to be red, we have to do this, so this two-step uh, thing going on here. So I thought it might also be interesting to set a warning level. Maybe we want a yellow message if we're above uh, 78. So here again, we're, I'm going to set another invisible range, uh, which will trigger if the flaps are down. We're going to set signal 10. But we want to say if the flaps are down and we're above 78 knots. So again, we're going to go back under settings, logic signals here, uh, hit number 10. There you go. And you can see here, I'm going to set the minimum airspeed for 78. Plus, I'm also going to set a delay of one second. I found that to be important because when I come in for landing, uh, as soon as I reach the white arc, I start to put the flaps down. And that was creating uh, sort of like erroneous warning messages. So um, I, I typically use the flaps to help slow down. So I think one or two seconds for me would eliminate some of those false warning messages. Um, but again, so once, once that logic signal is set, number 10, we want our flap indicator to turn yellow uh, in the flaps down range, which is 1 to 22. And we only want to do that if logic signal 10 has been set. And of course, because this is yellow range plus alert, the alert would be the yellow cast message, which will give you a, a ding in, the e in your earphones and uh, uh, show up next to your, uh, on your PFD. So you're going to go ahead and save that. We're going to back out of this screen. Be sure to save and reboot. And before we go flying, let's take a look to see what happens if we put the flaps down. Yeah, not, nothing happens here. At least nothing related to the flaps as far as messages go, which is uh, what we expect. All right, so let's go flying. So here we are in the air. Uh, the flaps are coming down. Okay, the flaps are about one quarter down at this point. And no messages because we're in the white arc. 73 is perfectly safe for flaps. Now, as soon as we accelerate and we hit 78, we should see the flap indicator uh, gauge turn yellow, and we should get a yellow cast message, uh, a caution message. 76, 77, 
And 78, yes, okay. Flaps turned yellow, flap position, we got the yellow message. As we continue to accelerate, uh, 83, okay. We turned red and we have a red flap position uh, flashing message, which is uh, what we expect. And uh, since we're finishing up early, I figure I'd add uh, a little bonus material for you. This was a service bulletin that came out uh, earlier this year to replace the uh, this piece of plastic up here on the latch mechanism. This is to prevent the handle from rotating too far. Um, I figure, why not? Three screws, we're going to remove those and uh, put the new plastic block up there. I would also recommend some, some blue or green Loctite. Uh, the screws are, I mean, there's not too many threads in the frame, uh, the canopy frame there. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if these screws start to back out over time just from the vibration. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so if you're looking to do a quick couple service bulletins, uh, maybe these two, uh, well, this one is one that's a quick, uh, a quick fix. Uh, and of course the, uh, the flap stuff, I would, I would recommend anyone that has the G3X do that. Uh, I'm sure the same features are available on Dynon. Uh, I don't have a Dynon screen at my disposal to take a look, but, um, I figure, uh, it can't hurt to have uh, more warning messages on your on your display, right? So, in our, in our next video, we're going to replace the ignition module, which was yet another service bulletin, or actually service letter, which came out. It's not required, uh, but we'll talk about that when the time comes. So, looks pretty good here, and uh, until next time. Bzzz.